Yo, what is good, y'all? You dig what I'm saying? And welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, this video is kind of all over the place. I'm gonna be honest, it's like the beginning of the video was shot like a week ago, and then midway and then on to the end of the video was shot today. So, basically, the part where you guys are gonna be seeing... Uh, well, all right, what am I talking about? So what are we doing today? In today's video, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, we are doing the clutch spring delete and we are upgrading from the stock clutch line to the steel braided upgraded clutch line. Um, so like I was saying, the first half of the video is going to be the install slash comparison of the steel braided clutch line that was shot about a week ago while the transmission was out of the car. That's why you guys can see the clutch still and the bell housing and the throwout bearing and all of that still sitting on the floor of the shop. That's because that was shot about a week ago before I got the clutch in the car. Now, as far as the clutch spring delete, I shot that today. So with that being said, I know the video is all over the place. I just wanted to give you guys that quick little disclaimer if you haven't already go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up on the video right now for the kid let me know if you guys are running the upgraded Steeda uh, clutch spring or a different one only one that i know about currently is the Steeda clutch spring um or if you guys are just doing the clutch spring delete let me know in the comment section down below let's go ahead and get this video started baby all right y'all so quick comparison this is the stock we've already I've already swapped out the upgraded next gritty throwout bearing slash slave cylinder. Already got it installed in the transmission. It's just waiting for um, the reinstall of the car. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the upgraded steel braided clutch line. Just definitely way better quality than this plastic piece of shit. Now the reason why the plastic is an issue is when plastic heats up it expands which makes room for air bubbles in your clutch fluid which gives you know what i'm saying the issue of the non-accurate reading from the clutch whenever you put your foot down on a clutch at a high rpm shift um it's not fully reading it why because there's a little bit of air in the line since the line has expanded so this steel braided clutch line should definitely do the trick um as far as eliminating that issue along with the stage four next ready clutch um and the next ready upgraded throwout bearing so we should be good i'm gonna go ahead and go install this on the car Many unbearable hours later all right you guys so as you can see we have the steel braided clutch line installed it literally just plugs in uh use the safety locking pin to go ahead and lock it in place and that's about it all right, y'all, so don't mind my floor mats. I got to detail my car. As you guys know, it's been sitting for a while. But coming into the car, uh, you're going to depress that clutch. Oh, you guys cannot see nothing at all. But all right, you guys got a flashlight now. But you see that spring right there? That's the clutch spring. So how you take that out, basically, you have to push the clutch all the way down. Um, and that'll release the tension on the spring and then you can grab some needle nose pliers Go ahead and grab the spring and literally just pull it out. So it's kind of hard to film Um and do this. So I'm gonna try to set you guys up. I think I got it yo yeah. Alright y'all so after changing tools like four times I finally got the spring out Look at this I can't even compress that with my hand. God damn. Now that I got it out, I'm gonna go ahead and step on the clutch and see how it feels. I can't really tell like a big difference just going back and forth, but I'm not gonna lie. It kind of feels better. Um, we're gonna go on a test drive here in a little bit uh, and make sure. So y'all stay tuned. Well, it'll be like five seconds for y'all. All right, y'all, you did what I'm saying? So we in the car now, man. I already got my food. Gotta get that wing stuff, you feel me? Cajun uh, thighs, make sure you grab them. I ain't even gonna lie, the Cajun thigh is like basically like a drumstick, bro. Just a big old drumstick, really. You know what I'm saying? It don't got that like uh, traditional like bone to it. Just go try it, man. Get you some Cajun thighs and come back to this video. Let me know how you rock with them, you feel me? Them whole smack, I can't lie. But going back to the video um you know what i'm saying so i drove the car to wingstop on my lunch um just wanted to see how it was off camera 
to like, you know, really see and pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta understand, driving a manual, you really need both hands and both feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I wanted to drive the car and really see uh, how, you know what I'm saying, the feel was and make sure it was straight. So with that being said, I can't even lie to y'all. It, it feels more responsive if that makes any sense like i can actually like it worked um to basically say the least um it, it definitely did his job uh you know taking the spring out the spring does do its job basically the spring is there it kind of like exaggerates uh your feel of the clutch and kind of hides um the dead spots they basically put the spring system in there because the clutch has dead spots um as you go through the clutch throat so with that being said they put those in there to kind of you know help get rid of the dead spots and it does do what it's supposed to do however i will say like the dead spots that they said it's supposed to have like without the spring i'm not really like i'm not feeling that joint and maybe it's because i have a stage four clutch um so i don't know if that plays any role but like it definitely feels it feels smooth i can't even cap i honestly was thinking like you know oh i'll go uh i'd probably take it out and then it'll end up being too um aggressive or too hard to push in the clutch or whatever but bro honestly it feels great i i like it man i can't even cap as you guys know i am now running the stage four x gritty uh clutch on this car and i can't even lie the reviews of the clutch said that the the clutch feel was like stock it wasn't aggressive you know going from a stage one single disc clutch to a stage four twin disc could definitely be you know what i'm saying um hard on the foot <laughs> hard on the calf muscle but it's definitely smooth man i'm not having i'm not having no issues you know we are we just hit 400 on the break-in miles um so that's cool you know what i'm saying we're, we're, we're getting there, chipping away slowly but surely we will get there. Um, we're doing a total of 1,600 braking miles is definitely what I want to go ahead and do just to be on the safe side. Um, and currently we're at 407. Go ahead and show y'all real quick. So as y'all can see, I went ahead and reset the trip um, on my car. That way I can just remember, um, you know what I'm saying, that the amount of miles that's on the trip on trip one is the break-in miles for the clutch um now i will say at 400 because the 400 mark was the um was the bare minimum that you know what i'm saying next ready wants you to use as far as going um when you decide if you're going to do the 400 or the 1500 uh, miles for the break-in 400 was the bare minimum and i will say when i got to like 350 miles there was a there was a tick that the clutch would do um off rip it was like it was just a steady tick it would go with the idle as the rpms revved up the tick would also increase in speed now that tick i believe was the flywheel um hitting the starter if i if i'm being honest with you guys now uh why do i say that well basically when i got the clutch and i did the unboxing off camera I took the stock flywheel and the new flywheel that came with the next Gretty. I took them both and I kind of put them up to, against each other to get a comparison to make sure that they were the same size. You know what I'm saying? Because we were having a little bit of fitment issues um, as far as getting the flywheel on the car. And I, it got to the point where I really thought that, you know, they sent me the wrong flywheel and I ended up calling American Muscle, man. Um, and telling them like, hey, you feel me? I just installed, I'm trying to install the clutch and the flywheel's not lining up. Like the bolts wouldn't line up. They would be like ever so slightly off um, to the point where, you know, even if I put the stud in the uh, the hole, you know what I'm saying? It would, it would have to be like shaved down, I guess you could say, uh, for it to actually fully go through. So I didn't want to force the bolt uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to force tighten a flywheel bolt, man. I just don't feel like that's safe. What if the stud snaps inside of the motor? Then you gotta try to drill that out and then re 
uh, spline it or whatever. Nah, I'm good. It's too much work. You feel me? So with that being said, I was trying to be on the safe side, and I went ahead and called American Muscle. They were so on top of it. They really were. They were great, man. I really appreciate American Muscle and their customer service, bro. They were about to go ahead and send me a brand new clutch, um, overnighted and everything, so that I can get the car running. Um, so that was pretty dope. But yeah, man, I went ahead and lined up the flywheels, and when I had them side by side, the next Gretty flywheel was literally just a hair thicker than the stock flywheel and so i was thinking oh yeah this might hit the you know hit the starter it might be an issue so i was a little worried and then that sure enough as soon as you start the car you hear it ticking um which is the flywheel rubbing up against the starter so i was a little worried about that but once the car got up to 350 um and the break-in miles then the ticking went away so i'll go ahead and hop out the car give you guys a quick little walk around because i did wash the car the wheels are still dirty unfortunately um i was only able to take it through one of those touchless drive-through washes um and then wipe it down at the crib with some waterless wash um quick detailer so the car is pretty clean though i can't cap you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so here we go, man. Got the sting. As you guys can hear, you can barely hear the ticking. There's still a little bit there, but it's not really there. You know what I'm saying? Got the, got the sting looking good, man. Got the sting looking good out here. It's like ticking just a little bit, but the braking miles are not all the way done. I went ahead and I was looking at the reviews again just to make sure that my clutch was good. And everybody was saying that it's very chattery during braking miles, but once the braking period is done, you're good. So with that being said, I'm not too worried about it, man. Honestly, the car, it's, it's coming along, man. And I got some goodies for it. The suspension is here. Um, I just want to get through the braking miles first and then i'll go ahead and put the you know suspension on since it's not bags you know i already told you guys that since it's not bags i can't just raise and lower my car whenever i see a bump but um with that being said i'm gonna wait until the braking miles are done and then i'll go ahead and install the suspension um but i probably will give you guys an unboxing i'm not gonna tease you guys anymore but we're definitely gonna get rid of this four finger gap, man. And get some spacers so that the fitment is a little better. As you guys can see, it's just, it's it's sad, bro. It's, it's sad, you feel me? It's sad. I just want some spacers to have the wheels flush with the body. You know what I'm saying? That's all I need. Look at that paint, bro. Sheesh, and then the sun's not beating right now, so I don't know if you guys can really tell, but you can only really see when the sun is out. There's blue flake in this paint um i'm gonna get a picture or get a get when the sun is like really on the car and i'm gonna show y'all like there's blue flake in the paint and it's actually pretty dope i can't even lie it looks pretty clean so with all that being said man i know this video was all over the place it was crazy but it's been your boy ji <laughs> Make sure you guys go ahead and give that big thumbs up on this video. Let me know if you guys are running the Steedus clutch spring or no clutch spring at all on your cars. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm probably gonna stick to no clutch spring on my car. Cause I, I, I really, like I like, I like how it feels as, as of right now. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I only drove it like five miles. So with that being said, man, that's actually gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Trust me, I got a whole bunch of bangers coming. I can't wait to get done with the braking period so we can get down to the track. I got an exhaust for the car. I'm about to get the car tuned. I got a lot of stuff coming for the car, man. I'm not playing any games with this car. I really wanna get it up there in the horsepower numbers and really, you know, just tackle going to the track i'm about to graduate i graduate in two weeks that means i'm gonna have way more free time on my hands which means a whole bunch of content for you guys so please 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 if you haven't already smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications follow your boy on instagram ji productions underscore it pops up right here go tap in with your boy go like some of the pictures i'll be dropping man and i will see you guys in the next one peace